It's been a great camp. I think that anytime you bring back as much experience on both sides of the ball, you bring back a starting quarterback, you bring back you know a lot of production on defense, you have a chance for camp to go a little smoother, and I think that'd be the case. I'd be lying if, if, if it wasn't the case. There's been a ton of energy. You know, for the right reasons, we have high expectations. We have high goals. Um, you know, this, this group's on a mission to do some things that have never been done around here, you know, but we know that that, that involves a lot of work. We got to continue to push this process and do little things every day. But our energy has been incredible. Um, you know, even though you're excited at the beginning of preseason, at some point everyone's preseason gets a little stale. It just becomes hard. That's a lot of work and going against the same guys and beating on the same guys that when game week comes around and it's a shot of energy that you need for for the change up, for the staleness of camp. But it, it has been really good. I, I couldn't ask for a better camp. We stayed fairly healthy and guys have uh, work their butts off for us. Sure, you know, like I said, with, with all the experience back and production back, um, it's one of those years where, you know, you're always trying to fix where's the hole in our, our, our system on one side of the ball or the other. We just don't have a position where we think there's a hole. And, and again, you know, and against our schedule, you got to be careful. It can happen in a hurry where things unravel because you play such good competition. But probably in no disrespect to any former groups we've ever had, this is as good as we feel about all our position groups. Um, again, it's, it's one of those – uh, luxuries to not have to rely on new faces you know everybody wants to play as a freshman and but really as coaches you don't want to play freshman if you don't have to unless they're freaks and we got a couple that'll 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 help us but it's really the group you saw last year that's a year older and better and more hungry than they've ever been so the boring answer is I don't I don't have a ton of surprises and no one in the country that's watching us and scouting us will it's our dudes that we had last year and ready to go again we'll have some new faces with some roles but we're not having to rely on anybody hard core that's new to us for sure it's like I always use the quote the road to success is always under construction you know we, we made this big jump to turn the program around and, and become a force and, and, and a respected opponent and climbed our way up the league and the two bowl games and all these things that we've been trying to do for so long around here and now we said boy as hard as that was and as long as it took this next step's going to be harder you know to really go and and win this league and, and to get in the playoffs and make a national run which is what we really want to do uh, could be a harder step than ever but I think that it took a long time to truly expect to win every game you know we always would say the right things and you know we talk ourselves into it and have great narrative but you know down deep did we really think we were going to win those big games I don't know I question it but now we walk into every game thinking we can win and I think that's a big step we needed to take because you know and it's not for the wrong reason we're as good as anybody we can compete with anybody and key positions we're as good as anybody so uh, feel as good as we've ever felt about taking this next step that we know is going to be a challenge yeah, it's like I told the guys, you don't you don't get too many opportunities like this. You know, our league's unique where you get to play some big games. To play a non-conference opponent with, you know, the national reputation that they have, what a special way to start it for us. you got to expect a monster crowd, um, you know, two top 25 teams in the country. It's like, what else could you ask for? So we're looking forward to it. I don't, I don't want to give them the old Gipper speech like, oh, there's no pressure on us and, you know, we're going to pull off this miracle. It's not what it is. It's two good football teams that are going to go to battle and could be as any good as any small college football game going on Saturday and we, we're, we're pumped that we get to host it and be a part of it.